So where do you stand in terms of how have you heard much about Islam? Okay. Have you ever read the Quran? No, I've read maybe a verse or two. Okay. Would you like a free copy of the Quran? No, interested. Right. Honest. Why is that? I'll give you the reason why. Yeah, yeah sure. Go ahead. Yeah. I, I explained it to a Muslim brother, right? That yeah. all my life, I'm searching, maybe in indirect ways, okay. for truth, for reason, for purpose. Right. And um, God Himself, Jesus Christ Himself, revealed Himself to me. Yes. What does that mean? Huh? Did you like see Him? Huh? No, no, not see So, what do you mean, revealed Him? Okay, I'm just about to explain. Yeah, sure. Give me some time there. Yeah? As in, the Bible says we can't draw ourselves to the Father unless He draws us close to Him, right? Yeah. So, I grew up in a Christian school yeah. Yeah, in Zimbabwe. I grew up in Zimbabwe. Okay. Raised in a Christian school, but yeah. I didn't grow up practicing. Yeah, it didn't mean anything to me as a child. What were your parents? Uh, were they practicing? Uh, my parents lived in uh, different towns. Yeah, they weren't really practicing. They were just worldly people. Yeah, yeah. yeah doing what they wanted. They okay. had their own philosophies of life. Yeah. I can't account for them. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, raised by my granny. Uh, fast forward to Portugal. Yes, I was raised by, I was with my mom, lived with my grandparents, they were strict Jehovah's Witnesses. Oh, okay. So, I resented religion, yeah. Because it's I, very strict. Huh? It's strict, yeah. It didn't give you much yeah. uh, room Liberty to... Liberty to sin, yeah. basically, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. But, again, my grandparents were what they were. They used to preach about the Jehovah's Witness doctrines and, you know, elements of the Christian faith, but, you know, they didn't, obviously, they don't believe that Christ was God. Like, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. the Jehovah's They believe Christ was yeah. created, basically. Yes. Right, so, grew up with certain of these principles, so, during my teens, left Zimbabwe to Portugal, and like many teenagers, you know, lived a life of drinking, wanted to, yeah. You know, I have women, sex, clubbing, this and that. Fast forward, came to... Pretty much like this place, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, it's, it's yeah. vanity fair. I was just fair. telling them, yes. It's vanity fair. There's a lot of pleasures, a lot of sins. You know, the sin runs rampant around here. Uh, fast forward to um, England. I was mm -hmm. in a relationship with a young lady. Yeah, she grew up in a Christian household, but not practicing okay. like me, right? So we're living in sexual sin. The Bible talks about fornication, yeah. which is any sexual immoral act. Yeah, yeah. extramarital. Yeah, extramarital, yeah. where it's, yeah, man with man. All types of perverse is called fornication, which yeah. the Bible preaches against, right? That's right. Yeah, so I was living in all of those sins, drunkenness, sin, etc., etc. Yeah, but there's no awareness, no, I genuinely think these things weren't wrong. At that time? At that time. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You yeah. wouldn't be doing them otherwise. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I just thought yeah. normal sex before I can yeah. like a girl and it's fine to sleep yeah. with her, what's the problem? Because that's what society has exactly. normalized it, isn't it, to exactly. such an extent, yeah. Exactly, but then yeah. there came a point where uh, I was at a point in my life where, um, you know, I went to a hospital, then I started to reflect more on life, yeah? Mm. And I would hear people preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, but I'd heard about Jesus, but I couldn't understand the concept of Christianity, God. I had many mixed, I was just a floating soul, yeah, open to everything and anything. And I just wanted to do my thing. Fight, yeah, I was training to be a fighter, just wanted to do my thing. Right. And how this came about. Is right? that how you ended up in the hospital? Huh? Yeah, actually, yeah, overworking out, you know, oh, vanity, see. wanted to be strong, yeah, yeah defend I was, I was myself, I was into thinking, the martial yeah. arts, yeah, yeah, I wanted to be a cage fighter. Oh, is yeah. it okay? Yeah. All right. So, MMA, yeah? Yeah, MMA, but <laughs> why would I be beating up God's creation, yeah. you know, just to please my own selfish... Or maybe money? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> money, fame, yeah, yes. power, etc. Yeah. yeah, so long story short, um, the lady I was with all of a sudden started to feel convicted, yeah? Her conscience was convicted about sexual sin, all of a sudden, yeah? Oh, and you mean she became, she thought it was, she felt guilty? All of a sudden, oh, yeah, I see, she okay. now started to feel the guilt of what yeah, we're yeah. doing, and I was like, oh, what's going on with this lady? 
I thought, you know, we love each other. Do, 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 do. Why is this thing happening? Yeah. Fast forward, at that time, many people were sharing the gospel, yeah, to me yeah. about Jesus Christ. But I couldn't, maybe I was open, I can't remember exactly, open, listen here and there. Yeah. But I wasn't interested. I just wanted to do my thing like many people yeah, yeah. that go out, just want to live their life. They're not interested about religion or God, yeah, yeah like myself. Until a point in time where God yeah, used another Christian to, you know, bring to my attention the seriousness of sin and the consequences of sin. Mm -hmm. And you're preaching about my specific sins, fornication. Right. There's many sins, obviously. Yeah, yeah right? of course, yeah. Yeah. So, and then you said, Pao, what is it going to take for you to receive the truth, to come to Christ? Mm -hmm. A near-death experience? I was arrogant because I had a near-death experience. Oh, did you? intensive care. Oh, I see. Yeah, so is it from the MMA accident? A combination of many oh, things, yeah. So, at that point, I was arrogant. I thought I had a near-death experience. And then he said, or something, someone close to you to die. And then I thought of the lady I was with. And I started to weep because I didn't want her to die. I didn't want her to die in that state. Long story short, all of a sudden, I too now started to feel convicted and filthy about lies. You know, the like people talk about white lies, but sin is sin in the eyes of God. Yeah. Yeah, and the Bible says there's none righteous, no, not one. Mm. Only God is righteous. Only Christ, who's the way, the truth, and the life, mm. yeah, is righteous. Yeah. And our righteousness are but as filthy rags before a holy God. So there's nothing you can do or I can do to please him apart from repentance. Acknowledging that yes, I'm wicked, I am sinful. And only God himself, yeah, can save me from my sins. So God started to convict me of my sins. Yeah, conviction is done by God's Spirit. Because God's Spirit was sent into the world to convict the world yeah. of sin. Because sin separates us from God. Yeah. Yeah? Sin is Satan's inherited nature, the nature of disobedience that works in the children of disobedience, yeah? Mm. So sin, and the Bible says that for all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. So yeah. we've all fallen short from the wickedest of sinners to the lowest, mm. yeah? So even a white lie is sin. Yeah, yes. I mean, any, any, yeah. any disobedience to God. Any disobedience to laws yes. of holiness, of, course, of yeah. righteousness, yeah. right? So that's where Christ comes into the scene. Okay. So I just saw Christ. I, I can't even remember what I thought about Christ. Right. I couldn't even understand him. Yeah? yeah? Now, this is why I said God revealed himself to me by convicting me yeah. of sin because the Holy Spirit came into the world to convict the world of sin because it's what separates us from God, yeah. of the righteousness of Christ because he's the only one, right? Man is sinful. So any religious leader or activist is a sinful man. Right. Because what you, Christ yeah. stood, Christ came into this world, yes, to die for the sins of mankind. Mm. He tasted no sin. He touched no sin. Yet do you he, believe Christ is God? Yes, because the book of but John did says... He, did he not I, just say that yeah, yeah, he died? Yeah, 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 yeah. In the beginning was yeah. the Word. Sorry, is right? it okay if you just keep a so, bit yeah, of a yeah, distance sorry, here? Sorry, sorry. Okay. In the Thanks. beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, yeah. and the Word was God. Yes? Christ is not a created being. He's the very expression of the Father. When the religious Pharisees were asking Jesus where he came from, right? He yeah. said, uh, before Abraham was, I am. They got angry and wanted to stone him because they asked him a simple question, and he yeah. answered them plainly. I'm not from this world. I come from eternity. He was. He's from everlasting. He never said he he's, came from eternity. He's, he's from everlasting to everlasting. He's the Alpha and the Omega, yes? Yeah, but that's a dream. Yes. That's a dream of John. It's not his words. Okay, let's go to John 1. No, no, before you go there, I want to go back to what no, you said go about to John 1. Yeah, yeah, wait. You already yes. quoted John 1. So I want to know from you, yes. why do you believe Jesus is God? Did he ever claim to be God? Huh? Yes. Where? Before Abraham was, I am. He declared yeah, but his deity. Just saying, I am. You know, this is he like. He was quoting what, Mo, you know, Moses? Yeah. He saw the I am that I am. Yeah. You are showing them his. Why do you think the religious, if he just said, I am, why, okay. why did they get angry? 
You know, the Jews wanted to kill him in many different ways. I am. He yes. For example, when he says, uh, I am the father of one, they wanted to stone him to death as well. Do you remember that? His deity. Yeah. No, he wasn't. Of course he was. Okay, what does Jesus respond when they started uh, to stone him? Sorry? In John, this is in uh, John 10.30. Okay. Okay. You can I am my father, one. Yeah. Okay. And then they, the, the Jews picked up the stones to stone him. 